Fejet Ninja was the name given to me by my grandmother because as a child, I was very unsettled. I've been bet, bet bad. <laughs> I could be here this minute, and the next time my grandma would look, I'd be in a totally different place. I was a curious child, always about, how does this work? And that, and that led me to problems. I was being smacked all the time because things I'd play around with wouldn't work the same way they did as before I played with them. I remember locking my mother's phone just days after she had bought it with a POC code. I got the beating of my life. Well, one of the beatings of my life because I've had a lot of those. But I wasn't regretful. I deliberately entered the wrong pin codes just so I could see where that would lead. Cool, right? Or oh, not really. <laughs> In around 2012, I was on vacation with my siblings. And my younger brother and I were being bullied into watching this reality TV show called Big Brother Africa. And after watching it for the nth time and not being able to watch what I wanted to watch because my sister over there held on to the remotes, I put a password on the television. Yeah. If I know user, nobody knows user. And then that made me the man. Anyone who wanted to use the TV had to go through me. I had the access codes. And if I wasn't comfortable or okay with what they were watching, I'd switch the TV off. It has to come back on. There's a password. I know it. And then I started dictating what we watched. So all in the name of how does this thing work, I continued with my bad, bad bet, bet, and cratch, cratch, as my grandmother puts it, fidgeting, being curious. And today, I have a career in technology as a developer and a digital product designer because of the fidgeting and bet, bet. And what that means is I research, I design the logic and interface, I build, or I help teams in building digital products. And these could be web platforms like websites, web applications, or mobile applications that solve problems and make lives easier. I'm here today to talk about why young Sierra Leoneans should get into tech or technology. But first, what is tech? Technology could be defined as the practical application of science to commerce or industry to solve real world problems. Most of us should be familiar with this man, Samuel Tally in Game of Thrones, right? A member of the Night's Watch, a good friend to Jon Snow. Samuel was at the Citadel, as in the photo. That's a photo of him in the Citadel. And wanted to find the secret to defeating the Night King. Imagine you being in that very big library and trying to narrow just that information down. Pretty tough and hectic. How fast can we get information now? In the blink of an eye. You just need to have an internet connection. Search engines like Google, Bing, Dr. Go are ready to give us what we want in a matter of seconds. Heck, we can even translate from one language to another with no sweat and in no time. You know how long language translations used to take? Months, years. Technology has made it easier to access information. We can know what's happening around the world the instant they are happening. I don't need to live overseas or stay overseas to know what's happening there. I live overseas on the internet. Don't you all? Social media. Imagine being someone 
in that library. Just imagine what he had to go through. And imagine if Samuel had Google. Hey Google, how can I defeat the Night King? And he would have got answers. I'm so sorry, Samuel. I know you feel jealous. I'm so sorry you did not have Google. Could have made things a lot easier for you. Technological innovations are being adopted by marketplace or marketplaces to make business efficient. Look at how we shop now. We just go through our phones. A couple clicks and our items are on their way to being delivered to us, right? We use the tools and products of technology without even knowing. We now have ETSA prepaid meters we use to manage our electrical consumption. Is that right? And the interesting thing is, you don't even need to go outside to recharge your meters. You can do it from your smartphone. Cool, right? That doesn't really make things easy for me. It does. How we book a flight, how we make a payment, how we listen to music, how we watch a movie, have all changed. Technological disruptions are happening in every industry. We used to go, we used to, go to the cinemas then to watch movies on scheduled, on scheduled times. Can I get water, please? Okay. On scheduled times. Now we have platforms like Netflix making it easy. We can watch from the comforts of our homes, on our couches, in our bedrooms. Yet, with all these advancements and utilizations of tech, excuse me, Yet, with all these advancements and utilizations of tech, around here, we truly haven't seen technology or career in technology as what it should be. We think technological careers are just another thing. Not so for we, we're not busy. But people in tech, or people with technological careers, are the ones that are creating and shaping the world we now live in. Is that right? A friend to a father, a father to a friend of mine, sorry, said there was nothing he could do with a computer science degree, and he had to switch to something else that will sustain him in the future. Come on. But my friend's a fidget ninja like me. And what better time than now to be in technology? Comments like these are as a result of people not understanding the role and value information technology have in today's world. The future belongs to us, the fidget ninjas. Every society needs a range of occupations. Lawyers, doctors, engineers, bankers. But if we look at the reality of things, the job market for most of these occupations around here are getting saturated if they are not already, medical doctors being the only exception. Every year, our country releases so many graduates, most of whom remain unemployed. Isn't that evident? Can you guys not talk? Can you guys say something about that? Isn't that evident? Yes. Do we not have more people being unemployed? Technology can change that. With tech, new markets come into existence every year, bringing job opportunities. Listen, a career in tech is one of the most fulfilling and fun careers you can have, not only in Sierra Leone, but in the world. You can be of value wherever you go. And here are three reasons why young Sierra Leoneans should go for a career in tech. One, tech is hiring. 
The tech industry is in demand for more labor than there is supply. The tech industry need, need work demanding. Different markets coming into existence every year. There is and there will be more job opportunities in tech as compared to other sectors. So young, young Sierra Leoneans should go in for tech. Secondly, tech pays well. Money daddy. Copway Lona. You can make good money if you get good at what you know. You don't even need a university degree because tech has a low barrier to entry. I know people making good money. When I say good money, I mean Uncle Benji and Auntie Lizzie. I personally am not through a university yet, but yet I work two jobs, a local and a remote one, building things with cool teams. So yeah, get into technology, guys. We need it. Thirdly and lastly, a career in tech is impactful. You know things you build or work on are being used by a lot of people out there. And there's no satisfying feeling than that. You're able to make impact because you know you can solve problems in your community with tech. As I conclude, let me tell you this personal story. My grandma has this routine she goes with whenever she wants to do a currency exchange. She calls the foreign exchange guy. He tells her the rate. And if she's OK with that or comfortable with it, she gets on to do the exchange. But lately, as in November, I noticed she was being ripped off. They were giving her low rates, probably because she's an old lady. So I decided, what could I do? How can I help? And she uses a smartphone. So I came up with this app with a really simple user interface showing just the exchange rates my grandmother deals in, which is USD, USD, euros, and pounds. And then I went on Twitter and saw a lot of people were having issues with doing uh, conversions from the, new, the old loans to the new loans that will be rolling out soon. And I said, OK, I could include that too. And I included it in the app. The app ships out soon. The app ships out soon, hopefully before the new loans comes out. I just wanted to eliminate that process of my grandmother always calling the foreign exchange guys who in return might give her low rates. Nothing fancy. On the projector is an interactive design prototype of the app. We can see how it works. So with technical skills, these are things you can do you can build things that help the people around you. And this is why young Sierra Leoneans need to go into tech. We have so much catching up to do with the world and the digital revolution. We are so far behind. For starters, we still use the paper-based record management systems. Have you gone to the hospitals? Have you been to births and deaths? A paper. And as Alfred said, we need to digitize more processes for transparency. Dande Kievu helped cut corruption, no? I guess we've all heard of this song. You want to bamba? You want to chill with the big boys? Now you did. Now you did. Not fit. Do you, as a young person, want to chill with the big boys? A career in tech? can make that happen in no time as compared to other jobs. 
On the projector again, it's a resource for anyone here wanting to get in tech. This QR code, you can scan it with your mobile phones or smartphones. Take your phones out and scan it. This QR code takes you to a site that breaks down the technological pathways, like the different careers you can have in tech. And it will be useful to anyone interested to get in tech. Scan it. We need more of you, so yeah, scan it. I will now leave you with the words of Giuseppe Mazzini, my favorite quote, which says, slumber not in the tents of your fathers. The world is advancing. Advance with it. Thank you.